was somebody asked me when I come out here and do Bible study, and I can't remember exactly who it was. I think it might have been Lisa. So I thought we would do it. Today, Rebecca actually meets her husband, Isaac. But I cut it off right when they, while, while she's coming up. So um, we'll talk about, I'm, I'm going to read the scripture we're going to talk about, and then we'll talk about it. Uh, we're in Genesis 24, where Abraham has sent his servant to go find Isaac a wife. And um, it says, um, So they sent away Rebekah their sister, and her nurse, and Abraham's servant, and his men. And they blessed Rebekah and said to her, our sister, may you become the mother of thousands of ten thousands, and may your descendants possess the gates of those who hate them. Then Rebekah and her maids arose, and they rode on the camels and followed the man. So the servant took Rebekah and departed. Now Isaac came from the way of Beer, Lahiro, for he dwelt in the south. And Isaac went out to meditate in the field in the evening. And he lifted his eyes and he looked, and there the camels were coming. Then Rebekah lifted her eyes. And y'all remember what she did? She saw Isaac. She dismounted from the camel. And she said, who is this man walking in the field to meet us? So that's our scripture today. Let me tie my shoe. Um, Y'all, I bought some sandals. I was going to show them to you, but really, my feet are too swollen for them. I should, they didn't have them in wide. But oh my gosh, are they wonderful. If you need some comfortable sandals, I'm going to recommend these to you. Now, if you have wide feet like me, I don't know. I thought because they had little things on them that would adjust that they might, you know, fit my feet good. But really, the way they're made, they don't, they're not really that adjustable. But anyway, it's a bear trap. And it has a good support. And it's made for bad feet. Oh my goodness, when I put them on, I didn't want to take them off in the store. They were a lot cheaper than the... Birkenstocks, they were only $50 a pair. Let me put this back on my foot, it fell off because I didn't have it clasped good. But I do like them, y'all. Okay. Let's see. Y'all know we're coming, we're studying this through this guy's, Matthew Henry's commentary. It says, I don't know if y'all thought about it or not, but you remember Rebecca was at the well when he met her. And it said that, um, but when she was sent away, she was sent with her nurses and uh, damsels. So that meant that she actually had people serving her. So you're thinking, well, why did she go to the well to get water? And it says, because she took pleasure in the works of humble industry. Um, that's pretty strange, isn't it? That she would be that well off and have all these servants and have all these women helping her. But that day, she decided to go to the well to get her water. Now, whether or not she did that every day, we don't know. Or if she just felt inclined to go to the well that day because God, you know, nudged her or what happened. But she was at the well that day instead of her servants. Um... Anyway, her family didn't want her to go quick. They said, would you at least let her stay 10 days with us? And um, so then they finally decided that they would ask Rebecca what she thought about it. Because they didn't really want to let her go yet. They didn't mind her going. 
and they knew she was going to be taken care of, but they just hated to see her go so quick. So they asked Rebecca, and she said she consented not only to go, but to go immediately. She was ready to go meet that man, wasn't she? So um, she was sent away with the servant, and she took her damsels and, he, and her nurse, and the family blessed her. And, and uh, we read that in the scripture a while ago, how they blessed her. So, um, it says, Isaac and Rebekah are, at length, happily brought together. Isaac was well employed when he met Rebekah. He went out to meditate or pray in the field at eventide, and some think he, um, how's this like this? Oh, some think that he was thinking that that might return and that's why he went out in the field but then others think that he went out there every day to meditate and this was just part of his everyday thing um, and it it gives us a note and it says um, some think that he went out on another errand to take advantage of a silent evening in a solitary field for meditation and prayer it says, those divine exercises by which we converse with God in our own hearts. Note, it says, holy souls love retirement. It says, we shall find we are never less alone than when we are alone. It talks about how we should be alone sometimes. And we should make a point to get alone with God. Go outside, you know, sit in a corner, look up at the sky. And they even make a point to say it's nice if you can get outside because then you can see his creation more instead of man's creation that's all around us in the house. Um, when you go outside, then you can see God more. And it's easier to meditate, it says, uh, on him. And it says that we should take a time out in our life to go out and meditate as Isaac was doing that afternoon um, so that we can have our it says meditation and prayer ought to be both our business and our delight when we are alone while we have a god a christ and a heaven to acquaint ourselves with and to secure our interest in um we need not want matter either for meditation or prayer which if they go together will mutually befriend each other it says we are we there have a free and open prospect of the heavens above us and the earth around us and the host and riches of both by which by the view of which we should be led to the contemplation of the maker and owner of all so he's just letting us know that Isaac did take the time out at the end of his day to go out and meditate look in the fields be alone so that he could pray and that we should do the same thing you know, our life would be a lot better if we would do that. And it even says in here that um, it's good to do it in the evening to relieve us from the fatigue occasioned by the care and business of the day and prepare us for our sleep at night. I don't know if you've ever thought about that, but a lot of people do their devotions in the morning like we're doing so that we can, they can start their day with God. But it's also good to end your day with God so that you can be ready for bed and have a nice conscience and, and you can sleep well. Um, it says, Rebecca, oh, I'm already at the end today. Anyway, Rebecca is going to light off the candle. Candle. Rebecca is going to light off the camel tomorrow and meet Isaac. So it's going to be a happy time. But Isaac was already out there in the field looking. He was actually praying, but he was looking too, I think. And he saw her coming. So they're going to meet tomorrow. That's our simple Bible study today. The main thing we need to get out of this is that Isaac did take the time to go out and meditate in prayer. And we should do the same thing. Can y'all hear that woodpecker? Listen. He stopped. 
That's the good thing about coming out here to do Bible study. You can hear the birds. Anyway, I heard that woodpecker. I don't hear it. There he went. Let's see if he does it again. I love to hear a woodpecker and a rooster. Sometimes the rooster's out here crow. Anyway, I guess he's not going to just keep pecking right. Um, he's taking his time pecking the wood, isn't he? He's not in a big hurry. He's a laid back woodpecker. <laughs> anyway, let's. There he goes. It's nice to go outside, y'all. And I know some of y'all are disabled, but hopefully you've got a spot that you can roll out to or get out to and listen. Now I hear an airplane, but you can hear all the birds out here today, and you can hear the woodpeckers, and they're all singing, and they're all happy, and it's nice to get outside around God's creatures and His creation, for we are a creature of His as well. I never look at the camera. I always look in the middle. There he goes again. I just love it. Okay. So let's say our prayers. Thanks for tuning in today. Take the time to go outside and meditate on God's Word and, and our Creator, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for today. We thank you for the beautiful weather. We thank you for the birds and the beautiful earth that you surround us with. All of the things that we can go out and hear um, your handiwork and see it. It's, so it's such a blessing. Um, spring is such a happy time when everything comes back to life may we give you all the glory and honor and praise in our life in Christ's name we pray amen y'all have a good day and we will see you later